By the end of this video, you're gonna find out just why I know for a fact that Josh Jacobs is guaranteed to lead the league in rushing back to back years. Now listen, I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not a truth soother or whatever those people are in New York City that hands you out some tarot cards for a couple bucks. All I know is that there is information, factual, tangible proof that Josh Jacobs will be able to lead the league in rushing yet again. Something that happened once a few years ago with Derrick Henry where he did it in 2019 and 2020. And then way before that, it was LT with Anya Tomlinson, probably a lot of yards against the Raiders in 2006, 2007. So it's not done that often. But when it is done, there are a few key factors that take a hold of the running back, implement him into the correct system to lead the league in rushing multiple years in a row. And there are a couple factors we're going to get into right now as to why Josh Jacobs is going to do that and probably why you should put him on your fantasy football team this season. Factor number one, his holdout helped a lot. Here's the thing about Josh Jacobs. He's rushed for a thousand yards in every single season he's played, except for the one season where he was really, really injury plagued and he had like 860 yards or something. And there's a few seasons in there where he still missed some games and ran for a thousand yards. So we know he's an absolute workhorse, but the holdout did something that not a lot of people are talking about. It kept him fresh. Now, will he be too fresh, aka rusty? I don't think so, and here's why. We got the contract done a few days ago from the time that this video is being uploaded, which means he will have more than enough time to prepare to be hit in week one. We got 10, 11, 12 days leading up to the season where he can practice in pads, get the playbook down, which he's already been studying, I'm sure. He intended to sign with us from day one. He's done that, he's coming back, and he's going to be more fresh. Now, why is that important? Well, in the beginning of the video, I talked a little bit about how he always runs for a thousand yards if he plays a certain amount of games, all except for that one season where he only had 800 and whatever yards. If this kid, Joshua Jacobs, now number eight instead of number 28, comment below, do we like the number eight? I think I like it. I didn't at first, but now I do. I saw it with my own eyes and I'm like, you know what? I like that, Josh. A fully rested, healthy, and motivated Josh Jacobs. Healthy is the key word. Someone who is going to be able to play all 17 games is going to have a great chance to go back to back. The second factor that leads into why Josh Jacobs is gonna lead the league in rushing again is Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, what is Jimmy known for in San Francisco? Winning a lot of games, playing with a good defense, making some timely throws, but mainly, Handing the ball off. Flashback to that NFC Championship game against the Green Bay Packers where he had like six pass attempts. He just was feeding the running backs. That's all he does. When the coach calls for it, he get, he goes, here you go, running back, take it. Take me to the promised land. And that's not a knock on Jimmy. He knows exactly what he's good at and what he's bad at, and he knows how to listen to the play caller. And Josh McDaniels understands that if we want to win football games this year, we have to establish the run. And no better way to do that than to get the quarterback who can put his ego aside like he always does. And Jimmy G's right to have a big ego. You see the man? You see the pictures of this guy? Jimmy G is the guy who is willing to give the ball to Josh Jacobs 30 times a game and absolutely not complain about it at all. Now, I'm not saying that Derek Carr wasn't that guy either because he clearly was. He gave the ball to him a lot and he scored a lot of touchdowns and he ran for a lot of yards. The difference here is that I think we're gonna be more consistent with the run game than we were last season. The offensive line looks a lot better. Josh Jacobs, another year in the system, another year trusting these guys blocking for him. We got more weapons on the outside, which will set up the run game. So those are two factors right now. A healthy Josh Jacobs, a rested Josh Jacobs, and a Josh Jacobs that's going to get the ball more. The third reason, factor, whatever you want to say, as to why Josh Jacobs is really in line to do this thing again, and it might be the most important reason, it's between that and health, is that no running back in the preseason stood out as a successor to him. So Samir White's okay. Uh, what's this guy's name? Samir McCormick, Damian Harris, Williams? I forget. I don't even know. That should tell you all you need to know about our backup running back situation. We have Brandon Bolden, Amir Abdullah. They're fine. Brandon Bolden's kind of a bruiser. Amir Abdullah's kind of a pass catching back, which Josh Jacobs is getting better at too. But there's no running back that's going to take significant reps away from Josh Jacobs. So he's going to be getting the bulk of the carries, short yardage, long yardage. He's going to have some play action blocking in there. That's irrelevant to what I'm saying right now, but it means he's going to be on the field a lot, which we know again. But if there was any time for Zamir White, while Josh Jacobs was holding out, to take the reins and to show maybe this is going to be a thunder and lightning situation, it didn't happen. You see what I did there? Zeus. It didn't happen. Josh Jacobs is the premier running back, which is probably why Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels were like, you know what? 
let's get this deal done. The fourth and final reason why I believe in my heart of hearts that he will go back to back with leading the year in rushing, or uh, leading the league in rushing. And can I just say, this, this, this doesn't mean that I'm, an, I'm a crazy Raider fan. I think we're going to go 17 and 0. If you want to see my win loss predictions, it's pretty modest. That's on the channel. Go check that out. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to lead us to the promised land. I'm just simply stating the facts and how I see the season playing out. The fourth and final reason is I don't see a running back in the league that scares me in terms of being able to lead the league in rushing. Now, Jonathan Taylor absolutely has it in him. He's done it before. Derrick Henry can do it. He's getting up there in age. Saquon Barkley never stays healthy. He did sign that deal. They're going to be better. They got some more weapons passing-wise for Daniel Jones, so Barkley might drop down in the carries. ETN, Brees Hall... Am I forgetting Nick Chubb, Najee? There's a lot of maybes in there. And I think Josh Jacobs has kind of risen above most of the running backs to show that he's the most consistent in the league. So if you take the four factors I said, health because of the holdout and the rest, Jimmy Garoppolo being able to put his ego aside and feed Josh Jacobs every time he's a little bit hungry, then no one else stood out in the preseason as someone who could take reps from this guy. And the fourth reason being that I think at this point, he might just be the best pound for pound running back in the league and no one's going to be able to uh, catch up to his carries unless someone like Bijan Robinson, a rookie, can sort of steal his thunder. I think it's pretty safe to say Joshua Jacobs is going to lead the league in rushing again. Now here's a few things I want from you guys. Number one, if you could drop likes. Number two, if you could drop comments. Do you think Josh Jacobs is going to lead the league in rushing? Let me know what your stats are for him predictions about the season blah 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 if you're new please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me we're trying to get the 4,000 we got a little spike going right now and lastly if you like videos like this or the ones that I did about how McDaniel fooled everyone and blah 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 comment more subjects you want me to talk about in this sort of format I apologize for the audio being a little weird today I don't have my microphone I'm not home I'm at some other place I got the currents behind me I think that's pretty sick but let me know other scenarios and topics you want me to discuss. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new. It is free after all. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.